Hi folks, John Hecker here again, the pro at Brooklyn Country Club in Rochester, New York. Today I'm going to show you how to read a green, and I'm actually going to show you through kind of a live drill where I hit putts, but obviously when I'm playing it's an imaginary drill, but I'm giving you an idea how I would go about reading the screen. So I've hit my putt short of the 18th uh, pin, and I've got to figure out if this putt's going to break left or right. It's going to be straight or break right to left. So my drill here is, and I'll put the, the balls around the hole, is that I position these in a position where you're going to be able to, in this case, I'm going to hit the putts and help me determine how this putt's going to, going to break. So as I get ready to hit the putts, I'm over the putt on the first one to the right of where my ball is, that the, the yellow ball. I know this putt's going to break left. Um, so I'm going to pr play for it to go a little bit left, just based on the slope. And that one I, I played a little bit too much. So now I've walked up the hill a little bit more, so I know it's still going to break pretty good to the left. And that one did. Now I'm walking uphill almost opposite uh, my ball, not quite, so it should only go a little bit left now. And you can see it's just a little left. Now as I've worked to the right of the hole, I know that this putt is going to tend to go to the right. Probably only a little bit, but it's going to break to the right. And sure enough, it went enough to the right where I missed it. So now this putt is going to break a little bit more to the right as I've walked downhill. I'm not, you can see my yellow ball there. I think my putt's fairly straight. Sure enough, that one still did break. So now I've got the putt where I've got to determine what it's going to do. In this case, I think it's almost dead straight. And sure enough, it was. So now is my chance. I'm up over the putt, and I've got to figure out what it's going to do. So I know because the putt directly to my left was pretty straight, this putt probably will go a little bit to the left. Now there's a couple other ways you, you can read greens, and, and I'm not sure enough people do this. One of the things you want to do is watch the other people in your group putt. And sort of tr in a simple way, try to read their putts beforehand. Walk around the hole while, while you're getting ready to hit your putt. Then figure out in relationship to their putt, say, okay, if I'm right, and a person to the left of me, that putt should be straight or going to the left. And their way to the left of me, it'd probably break pretty good to the right. Um, and then the other way that you get that, you, you develop, let's say, information, is remembering times you've had putts in this direction. So you have to have kind of a long memory to read greens well. You have to be willing to watch the other people putt and kind of factor those into if you're reading them correctly. And then that circle drill that I just I just used, um, I obviously am not going to be hitting the putts, but I'm going to be imagining where they're going to break. So in this case, I think this putt is going to go pretty straight, but with a tendency to go a little bit left. So let's see if I'm right. So it did go just a little bit left. So um, try that exercise. Again, you can do it out on the, on the range. Uh, on the putting green, excuse me, and you give it, use that as a chance to, to learn to read your greens better. And then on the golf course, I try to encircle the, the hole, trying to figure out where the putts are going to break. And if I can find, uh, you know, some that are definitive, I can really relate those to my ball. And then watching the other people in the group um, putt, trying to confirm whether I'm reading it correctly. So give that a try when you're out on the course. I'm, I'm sure it'll help you read your greens better and make more putts.